Hey guys, I'm Michael and welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to look at 15 new tips for packing for any cruise. Now, over the last couple of years, things have changed just a little bit and I have learned a few new tricks. So, I uh, wanted to come out with a, uh, a few new tips, okay? Alright, let's start with number one. These are no uh, particular order at all. So, number one, uh, of course, I always say pack light, of course. Uh, one thing you may want to pack in your bag is a laundry bag. Some sort of maybe like a little uh, drawstring bag or something that you can keep your dirty clothes separate from your clean clothes, especially on the trip home. Uh, that's just kind of nice, but you can also put it like in your closet there in the uh, on the ship and uh, keep your dirty clothes keep your dirty clothes there as well and keep things separated and kind of neat all right number two uh of course like i say you know pack light i i, I can't stress that enough man it, it, you get on there and you just oh you find that you've got so much stuff you don't even need uh but number two is going to be pack an extra bag this is a tip not everybody does this but uh if you're going to be buying souvenirs if you're going to be buying t-shirts and, uh, you know, seashells, whatever you, you know, you're looking at, if you're going to bring home souvenirs and you've already got a packed suitcase, where are you going to put all this stuff? So a lot of people will pack a little collapsible or something inside their suitcase that they can use for a second bag for, for souvenirs and uh, maybe even uh, dirty clothes, things like that. But uh, so number two is going to be pack an extra bag. Number three, luggage stickers. Now, what I mean by this is on your suitcase, when you, especially if you're flying, guys, um, so many times, suitcases, they can all look alike. And you'll say, well, I know my suitcase. Yeah, you might, but somebody else may not. I'll tell you what. I get those little stickers and sticker all over that suitcase or even tape. Some sort of decorative tape, just strips of tape, anything. My luggage is so ugly, but it's mine, and I know it's mine. And the uglier, the better, you know. Somebody, I don't want somebody else to, I don't want it to look appealing to somebody else. Uh, you could do ribbon. Uh, luggage tags are also a really nice uh, touch because with the luggage tags, those will work for the airport and for the cruise ship. They're inexpensive, and you can reuse them. So you may want to think about that. Number four is going to be a carry-on backpack or small bag. Now, just like going to the airport and having a carry-on on the plane, you can have a carry-on on the ship because you may not be going to your cabin immediately. So this will allow you to take some things that you may need before you get to your, uh, to your stateroom. Uh, sunscreen, things like that, uh, that you may need, medicines. So a carry-on is always a good idea. All right, number five, air freshener. Some sort of little small bottle, maybe, of spray. Uh, this can be very helpful in the bathroom area. Uh, it also can be helpful for the room, too. Uh, especially sometimes people will bring food back to the room. Sometimes things can linger a little bit, and... Uh, it's good to have an air freshener. It just it just helps everyone, really. All right, number six. I've got uh, soap. Now, <laughs> the cruise line is going to provide you in the shower with uh, shampoo, a body soap. But uh, there at the sink, they have those little bitty tiny thin bars of soap to wash your hands with, whatever. Those don't last very long. They can tend to melt away. They kind of turn icky. Uh, so what I do, I actually bring on board a couple of bars of regular soap. Uh, whatever your preference, dial soap, whatever you choose. Uh, especially to wash hands. You can use it in the shower as well if that's what you're used to using. It just, I don't know, call me old school, but especially washing hands, I just like that a lot better. All right, number seven. Sometimes on the ship, I find myself, especially on longer cruises, this next one coming up is going to be eight days, uh, I will find myself ending up doing laundry on the ship. Not always, but many times I do. Uh, 
I, I don't pack a lot. Uh, I try to pack light if I can. And so what I'll take, number seven, I'll put a little Ziploc bag with like some little detergent pods and a few dryer sheets and another one. Because if you end up using the laundry on the ship, the only thing they have are those little, uh, or that I've seen on every ship that I've been on, are those little powdered boxes uh, of detergent. And it, it, I just don't like that. That's just a personal preference. So I pack me a little baggie of, uh, I have Tide Pods, that's what I use. And then I just put some uh, some dryer sheets in another little, uh, little baggie. You, those dryer sheets, actually, you can, uh, those are multi-purpose. You can put those in your luggage out loose. And they'll make your luggage smell good as well. All right, number eight. Something that I like to take along is a nightlight. Just something small. Because when nighttime falls on a cruise ship, it is dark. I mean dark. It doesn't matter if you're in an interior room or a balcony. It's When it's nighttime, it's dark. And to leave like the bathroom light on... And crack the door a little bit. Well, if the ship starts moving, that door may kind of not stay in the same place. Uh, and to get up and in, in the during the night for any reason, you need just a little bit of light. So uh, some something just really small night light is perfect. All right, number nine. Uh, I have a portable phone charger. This is wonderful. You can get these. They're very inexpensive. Uh, you can get them at different uh, strengths, I guess you would call it, uh, different amounts of uh, power that they'll hold. And these are really good for if you're out on uh, port day and you're out wandering around, you're taking a lot of pictures, you're using your camera a lot, your phone can run down pretty quick. And if you've got that with you, you can plug it in, recharge your phone. Uh, it's really nice to have. So again, a uh, portable phone charger. Number 10, I've got binoculars. Now, I love to take binoculars. Now, this is not to spy on your next door neighbor in the cabin. No, no. But once you're in port, you can use those binoculars to look around. You can see a lot of things, other boats, little boats. And even along the way, uh, marine life and things that you can look down and see. Binoculars are wonderful to have. If you've got some, by all means, take them with you. Number 11, I'm going to suggest bringing along a reusable water bottle. That is something that has proven to me over and over uh, to be so well worth the time to pack. You can use this on the ship. You can use it when you go off the ship. Uh, you fill it up. You've got it with you. You want to stay hydrated so many times and uh, places that you go, it's going to be warm. It's going to be hot and you really need, you, you need to stay uh, hydrated. So, um, and even when you get to areas that where there's not really anything available to purchase to drink, you'll have your water with you. So definitely uh, uh, take on a, a water bottle with you. And that brings me to number 12. I've got reusable straws. Now, let me tell you why. This is uh, one thing that has changed. I know Carnival has, has changed. They've done away with disposable straws. This is a very good thing for the planet and for the uh, sea life, things like that. But uh, what they've replaced them with are edible straws. And some people like them. Some people don't. They're okay. Uh, but if you've got a drink that you're taking a little while to drink it. Sometimes they can get a little soggy. They're like this gel stuff, kind of. Uh, not everybody likes it, but uh, but anyway, if you've got your own reusable straws, you don't have to worry about it. And sometimes the water bottles come with one. You've got one anyway. All right, moving along here. Number 13. I'm going to suggest packing a USB hub or uh, a multi-USB uh, plug because uh, everybody, of course, these days has, has their phone. Uh, you may have a camera. You may have different things that are uh, needs to be charged USB. And if you've got one of these little handy things, you can plug them up and charge them all at the same time. 
because a lot of times on the cruise ships, the amount of outlets is limited. So this is a really good trick. If you can find one, uh, they're pretty re readily available. Uh, the little USB hub, uh, you can get them on Amazon. I know that's where I got mine. All right, number 14. I bring along lounge pants. Some people call them pajama pants, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I'll bring lounge pants and a t-shirt. Let me tell you why I do that. Um, late at night on some ships, they'll show movies out on deck. It's perfect time to wear lounge pants, t-shirt. Uh, it gets kind of cool in the evenings, depending on uh, where you are, what time of year it is. But it can get really cool. And they're very comfortable, but yet they'll keep you warm. Even sitting out on your balcony at night, it's perfect. And with the lounge pants and t-shirt like that, uh, it kind of makes the rest of your clothes go a little further as well. You don't have to stay dressed, you know. So I recommend that, the lounge pants and t-shirts. You know, guys, girls, uh, you'll see everybody else does it as well. Not everybody, but a lot of other people do. All right, number 15 is going to be my last tip, but it's a really good one. I suggest bringing along wrinkle spray for your clothes. When you unpack, uh, when you pull your clothes out of your, out of your luggage, uh, spray those shirts down with wrinkle spray. Hang them up, give them some time, and uh, that wrinkle spray really does work. It's not perfect. But it, it, but it really does a good job. And let some of the wrinkles fall out of your, of your clothes. And that way, hopefully, uh, when you dress the next day or whatever, it won't look like you've just pulled it out of your luggage. Like so often, so often times mine does look that way because it's actually what I've done. But I have learned to use the wrinkle spray, and it really does help. Well, guys, I think that's going to wrap up our 15 new tips on packing. I also have a video coming up. I will post it at the top there, the upper right-hand corner, for 15 new tips for once you're on the ship. Those are some things that have changed as well, and I'll put a link right up there in the right-hand corner as soon as it comes out. All right, if you have not yet subscribed, we invite you to come be a part of our cruise family. Again, my name is Michael. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.